Port Alberni has always been identified with and by its deep saltwater port. And in 1964, nobody knew that port better than John Monrefay, owner and skipper of the Lady Rose, a coastal steamer that delivered cargo and passengers to remote areas of the West Coast. But in the early morning hours of Good Friday that year, John received a phone call warning him that a huge surge of water, a tsunami, was headed for Port Alberni. My father was quite worldly. He had done a lot of uh, marine work and that, but I don't think he'd ever experienced a tidal wave or a tsunami, and um, so we didn't know what to expect. He didn't know what to expect, but John knew what they had to do. They had to get to the wharf and secure the ship. We met up with a car coming towards us. They opened their window and screamed, the ocean is coming. And as we looked ahead, we saw the water just slowly coming up the pavement on the road. Here, the Lady Rose had broken loose. It was uh, swinging just on her bow line. It was very dark. At one point, it would be singing tight on the line, and the next thing it would bump up against the jetty. And um, Dad actually went down the rope and, you know, sort of hanging onto the rope, expecting it might break loose. And by the time he got on board and the ship bumped more or less against the dock, I climbed over the bow. And Dad told me when I went down below, he said, make sure you can get out of this thing upside down. So. <laughs> His dad told him something else that night, not to expect anything to be normal. And as it turned out, it wasn't. It was very black and dark, of course, and um, the spotlight, everywhere we shone the light, we could just see debris and, uh, and stuff floating, like stuff that shouldn't have been floating, branches and pieces of structure and, and, and things like that. Father and son worked together throughout the night, sometimes able to tie up at the jetty and then cutting loose again when the water began to rise never knowing for sure how it would end. We didn't know how many other people were warned or, or how many other people were around. I don't recall anybody saying, well, it's because of the earthquake or because of what happened to Alaska or anything like that, until the, the day when the daylight came and, and people started coming down and, uh, and relaying news and that sort of thing. With daylight too, Joe and his father saw the full destruction that the tsunami had wrought along the shore, damage that they had avoided by staying afloat. It changed me in that it made me aware of the possibilities of anything. We thought we were indestructible at the time when it happened in 64. And, um, you know, I've done a lot of sailing and all the time I was on the water, um, you know, you, you always sort of think, well, is this part of a bigger picture, when, whether it be a a storm or a wave or an incident of any kind. It needed to make me think of the possibilities. In Port Alberni, I'm Nancy Wilmot.